Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and today we have a brand new product, which is kind of cool. Uh, actually, this is a brand new C++-based SDK for creating UIs for game and game development tools. Uh, it is called Ultra App Kit, and if that logo looks at all familiar to you, it's actually from Leadworks Software. You may have heard of Leadworks, the game engine. Uh, so the game engine available up on Steam. I'm not sure if I've covered this on the channel or not, but this is a C++-based game engine. I know I've covered it when there have been Steam sales in the past, but Leadworks Software, they are now making Ultra App Kit. And that is the topic of today's video. So Ultra App Kit is a C++ UI GUI. Uh, SDK. So basically, this is for building desktop GUI applications. Uh, there's really two peers you can think of. There's I am GUI, and there is QT. Now, why wouldn't I use I am GUI? Well, one is retained mode, the other is immediate mode. And if you don't like immediate mode, and many people do not, you're probably more familiar with the idea of retained mode. Something like WPF, WinForms, or QT use a retained mode. So why wouldn't I just use QT? Well, QT is gigantic, and they have this bad habit of changing their licenses all the time, and they're not really made for real time like this. Now, there are tons of applications written out there using QT, so I'm not gonna say it's not a possibility, but there are some definite downsides there. So that's the niche that this is to fill. So unlike alternatives like I am GUI, Ultra App Kit uses retained mode rendering with system level drawing commands. This makes resizing windows, interacting with screen elements fast and responsive, even with the most complex user interfaces. Now, if this whole terminology is new to you between immediate mode and retained mode, you can think of it this way. In a immediate mode, every frame that your app runs, you redraw your UI. If you do not redraw it, it doesn't get drawn. Whereas in a retained mode, you more or less say like set up like an architect or a blueprint saying, you know, I want a menu, I want uh, a button, I want this, I want that. And when an event occurs, we will handle it. It's two different approaches to, to doing things. And I, I definitely come from a background, the Win32 interface, the API programming I learned GUI programming from, .NET WinForms, uh, WebForms, uh, WPF, QT Creator, almost all of the major UI systems you would think of out there use a retained mode, but they're often not really friendly to real-time games. So that's what we we're getting here. We're also getting uh, pixel-perfect DPI scaling, uh, so you can have really high-resolution uh, display support, multiple monitor support, and so on, and it should work just fine. You also have nice integration into uh, back-end render, so you can hook this into your game engine of choice, as long as it supports a, um, a device handle for the Windows. Window, and they've even got examples for showing you how you can use it with OpenGL. All right, so that's enough talking about it. We'll come back to it. It is commercial software. It's 20 bucks. Uh, it's a very reasonable price, uh, but you're going to have to decide, okay, I can get Ion GUI for free. Do I want immediate mode or do I want retained mode or do I want to go full fat and learn a whole new language basically and pick up QT, which there are some very valid reasons to do that. But if you want something much more lightweight and streamlined, but provides 99% of what you need to create a modern UI, Ultra App Kit may be a good fit for you. So we're going to go on over here. We're going to take a look at it itself. This is what you see here. This is the Ultra App Kit Launcher app, which, by the way, is available up on Steam. I have already created a project here, a GUI uh, application example, but you can go ahead and create your own this way. So create, and you can set it up basically either a console app or a GUI app. You give it a couple of names, and it creates the Visual Studio solution project for you. And then here we are in Visual Studio. This is the, this is, ooh, that's very zoomed. Okay, this this is a sample application doing quite a bit, actually. This is from the documentation. We will see it in just a second. But what you see here is all of the code required to create this app right here. So you've got tab views, you've got drop down boxes, you've got uh, hierarchical scene views here, you've got sliders, you've got uh, buttons, toolbars, and menus. So pretty much everything you need to make a modern game uh, tool. Uh, sorry, a modern uh, application, say like a level editor for your game, etc. It is there. And you're going to see the code is, it's clean, especially for um, C++ style programming. This is some of the easiest to grok code you're going to find. You can see here, you get your displays by calling get displays. You get, you create a window passing in which of the displays you wish to use. You set the minimum resolution of it, create the interface, which is a local function call. Uh, you set the uh, client size right there. Here you are creating your various different menus, the file menu, the save menu, and so on. 
Uh, if you ever did any old school Win32 programming, you're actually gonna feel immediately at home with some of this too. Uh, it, it's kind of like a cross between that and what um, MFC used to feel like, or OWL if you're even older. Uh, so here you can create, creating panels, the buttons. So here you are creating the toolbar, and that's all the code that's required. As you can see, you can use Unicorn icons uh, directly in place. Status bar, main panel, uh, side panel, uh, and then here is handling creating the options window that can potentially pop up. Here is your game logic where you're responding to. So for example, if they hit the menu open or the menu exit, then you run this particular code. Um, it's really quite straightforward and simple to work with. Here you can see showing the options when you, window and hiding the main window, for example, or vice versa when it's closed down, you just basically hide the one window and show the other. So that is 333 lines of code that was not particularly dense to create what we have to say is a fairly sophisticated app. There's no real logic to it, but it does showcase uh, the kind of functionality, the tools and so on that are provided by App Game Kit here. And we'll exit out there. All right, so let's go back on over to the store details. Uh, so as I mentioned early on, it is a $20 purchase. You can redeem it on Steam. Uh, I'm publishing this right before it goes live because interestingly enough, uh, if I go to the store right now, uh, the App Steam key one is showing as unlocking on the 30th. And I'm not sure if that's just a lag to uh, Steam versus their publishing date or if that's going to actually be the 28th. I, I don't know, you may have to wait a day or two on the Steam Redemption, uh, but otherwise you can download the SDK directly uh, here. Uh, there's also a subscription version of it, so if 20 bucks is too much, you can pay $2 a month as a subscription uh, instead. Uh, in terms of the feature set here, well, the big thing is it provides a series of widgets for you, labels, buttons, different, various different kinds, checkbox, radio, and so on, progress bars, text field, text area, combo box, list box, sliders, draggable, multi-select tree views, or you can create your own widgets. The API uses C++ shared pointers everywhere, has an extensible widget system, and extensive documentation. We're gonna get to the documentation in a second, but it is fairly impressive. Um, in terms of the UI, you've got uh, resolution independent for support for devices up to like 16K. Uh, I don't actually know if you can get a 16K device anymore. I know you can get like 4K panel walls that work up to like 32 or 64 or whatever DPI. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know if that really exists, but I'm not going to be one. I never really figured I'd be recording this on a 4K display at this point in my life either. So it may be a future proofing thing. Uh, load SVG vector images in, filter and sort widgets by name, set widget and item images, create mouse cursor, or change, sorry, change the mouse cursor and you can create custom uh, schemes or themes and you store those in JSON files. And then it's got support for other stuff that you need basically to create an application, common stuff that everything needs. Things like uh, file ILO, watching the file system for changes, memory allocation, image loading, saving and processing, uh, packaging system for loading files from compressed or encrypted archives, a plugin system, thread management, string manipulation, and of course, message boxes and file folder requesters. And given the world and the state of the standard C++ libraries, you kind of just need that kind of stuff. And here's one of those things. The other alternative to this one, so there's, again, Dear I Am GUI, uh, which is a completely different different model of programming. I did a video once again. You want to check that one out. Do check that out. You can see what it is like to work in an immediate mode. But if you want to work in a retained mode and you're trying to create tools that will integrate nicely into, say, an OpenGL application or a game engine, your other general option would be like QT Creator and the QT framework, first off, they keep changing licensing on it and that makes me a little bit wary. But second of all, it's uh, huge. So this is kind of a lightweight SDK that provides all of the UI stuff you need. And that lightweight and streamlining is a nice feature. Now what you see in front of you, this is the documentation. You can browse this online. You don't need to buy it or anything. It's the links are available out there. Um, but what we just looked at, the advanced uh, application interface, this actually walks you through and kind of goes through all of the process of creating that window we just looked at. And by the way, you can grab the source code here. So if you wanna go ahead and try this yourself, just create a new project using the launcher, paste that in, and you can you can get started with this particular application. On top of that, you see a number of other projects in place here, including, interestingly enough, integrating it with another game engine. For example, here they're using it, uh, Leadworks Game Engine with Ultra App Kit to embed a 3D graphic viewport inside of a GUI application. So if you're working with another um, game engine, you can integrate this. At the same time, if you're trying to create your own game engine or your own tooling, uh, this is an example that shows you how to set up an OpenGL rendering context uh, so that you can render 3D inside of a, um, 
uh, ultra app kit driven UI interface. So if, if that's what you're trying to do, it is all here. And on top of that, uh, we have, uh, again, a decent number of objects here. So, so, so for example, if I wanted to get into their multi-threading here, uh, there is a class for mutexes and threads, like so and so. And then if you go into an example, such as the documentation for create mutex, everything is documented. You can see the results, what you're going to get out, but even better, you're getting examples. So almost everything you look at, uh, the documentation has examples in place. Let me go ahead and check out, see if the debugging, and just pick something at random. Here is the assert debugging. And then even then, every single thing you're looking at has a documented example showcasing how to use it. So there is a lot of value in being streamlined, simple, but providing the features and functionality you need. Now, of course, this is going to be a fairly niche project or product for a lot of people, as quite frankly, it's um, for building UI applications, it requires Visual C, and, and you're basically just gonna be using this to create things like uh, tools and desktop applications. Uh, it's not, you, I guess you could use it for in-game UI, uh, but a lot of times you don't use traditional UI layers unless you're doing something like a, like a sim style game or whatever. Mostly this is gonna be created for people making applications that want to use C++, but don't want the bloat of something like Qt, don't want the pain, and trust me, you don't want the pain of working with something like Win32, uh, and you don't particularly like immediate mode, which I can understand. Quite a few people do not like immediate mode, and I actually kind of put myself in that equation as well. I, I don't, I, I can understand and appreciate it, but I was trained in my brain thinks in retained mode. So Ultra App Kit is a nice fit in that regard. So there is a link down below, which by the way, if you use it, I do get a small commission on the sale. So thank you very much if you do decide to use my link. Uh, but that is Ultra App Kit, a new UI SDK for creating GUI applications. Uh, you do need to use Visual Studio. Uh, so that does basically make you Windows only. But uh, let me know what you think of Ultra Engine, Ultra App Kit. Uh, I think it's an interesting project for sure. It's, it's filling a niche that needed filling. And I have looked at creating a C++ based application in the past. And I did find Qt licensing confusing as hell and the framework gigantic. So most people that end up creating, like especially when you're making quick and dirty tools, they tend to go the I am GUI route, which forces you into an immediate mode. So if you're liking the idea of retained mode versus immediate mode, uh, you probably want to check out Ultra App Kit. So that is it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.